I certainly don't want to beat a dead horse, but you guys know that a week and a half or so ago, Ariana had that Parthenogenesis baby, that virgin birth, which was absolutely amazing. And one of the highlights of my entire career, I'm not gonna lie to you, having that baby anaconda, I mean, just producing any anaconda has always been like the pinnacle to me. And to have one virgin birth by Ariana was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I was so excited. And to have a female that we could raise up to eventually be part of the Reptarium was absolutely wonderful. And and uh, every day I looked at that animal and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And it was doing so well. And um, I don't want to start the vlog off on a down note, guys, but this morning came in and uh, it, it, let me go show you what I, it, it definitely is broken my heart what happened. Um, I don't know what, any other way to say it, but let's go take a look. So just like every morning, checked on the little baby green anaconda, and literally yesterday it was completely fine, handling it, tongue response amazing, everything completely, completely fine. Of course it hasn't shed because it wouldn't be shedding for seven to 10 days after it actually is born, and it wouldn't eat until after the shed, so obviously it wasn't eating, but came in and literally it looked fine, you know, like it looks completely good, but I mean, I am, guys, I'm gutted right now. I mean, gutted. Uh, it passed away, it passed away. And, and now, you know, part of the genesis is, is always tough, you know, and, and there can be other things because again, it's not a normal snake, it's a virgin birth, right? It doesn't have any chromosomes from the male and, and oftentimes they are born stillborn or king, but this one was perfect. I mean, 100% perfect. My first baby green anaconda ever produced. And, and not just normal green anaconda, but a virgin birth parthenogenesis. I mean, I was absolutely infatuated with this animal, and I was so looking forward to the story, you know, when she was a year old, two years old, three years old, to be able to tell kids about the fact that she was a bir virgin birth, and just that story was gonna be so amazing and touch so many people's hearts, and, and you know, obviously, I don't know what to say, man. She passed away, you know, and, and, I mean, it, it's so crushing, you know, and, 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 and I have to tell you guys, you know, I'm not going to keep it from you. I tell you guys everything, you know, I, I, I'm not going to, you know, lie about it. I'm not going to say, oh, she's doing great when she's not. I mean, this is it. She was fine. You know, she was in the water a lot. She had a cage. It was, it was absolutely perfect. And there's just no reason. There's no reason other than the fact that maybe it's because of the part of the genesis. And guys, I mean, I'm just... There are days where you feel like you want to give up. You know, there's days where things are going so well. And when we had this girl, it was like a, just an apex pinnacle day of happiness. And, and now on the flip side, it's deflating. You know, it just, it, I, I literally want to cry. I want to cry because I just love this animal so much, even though I've only had it for a week and a half. It was what it stood for that was so special to me. But I don't know guys, I just needed to tell you because it sucks and I share everything with you guys and I don't know what else to do. You know, I'm gonna do the best I can do to try to salvage this day and not get too down about it. But, you know, there's no other way to say this effing sucks. And I'm gonna do the best I can do to get past it. But um, yeah, there it is. My baby green, I kinda didn't make it. Today is a day that I definitely need to spend some quality time with my girl Ivy here. My, my therapy animal as I call her. There's no day better than this than to spend some time with her and, and just try to decompress. You know, I've been doing this for a long, long time and there's always been ups and downs working with animals and you're going to have losses. And But this one's tough because, like, why did... Why, did, why was it born live and live for 10 days and seem fine and then die, you know? It's like, it just doesn't seem fair, you know what I mean? It just seems, just, it's almost like I wish that Aries would have just slugged out and not had a live baby, you know? Because then I wouldn't have the pain I'm feeling now. And, but I know this, it won't discourage me. I'm trying and my girl Ivy sometime is going to be a mama and, and, and Ariana is going to maybe have babies again in the future but bred by a male and and I know it'll be super special that day when I come in and there's a litter of baby anacondas that do thrive and do well 
And I know it wasn't anything that we did. You know, I know we had the setup was right, the temperatures were right, the humidity was right. Had a big water dish so they could crawl in and it spent a lot of time in it. So, at least I know I'm not blaming us, but at the same time, it doesn't make it any better. It doesn't make it any better at all. And like I said, I'm gonna spend just a little time with my girl Ivy here because she's such an amazing animal and I love her so much. And she always makes me feel better no matter what. So. I'll probably take the next half hour or so to chill out and and then we'll get on to some fun stuff. As a matter of fact, we had some baby ball pythons hatched that were really exciting today. So give me a little bit of time to to spend with my girl Ivy and she's already being such a good girl, just kind of crawling up to me. My girl is so amazing. I mean, she's such an incredible animal and it's almost like she seems like she knows that something's wrong, so she's gonna come over and be my pal for a little bit. but. Give me a little bit of time and then we'll look at some baby ball pythons that hatched and, and celebrate the life that way. And uh, yeah, so yeah, just give me a few minutes, I'll be okay. All right, moving on to that ball python clutch I told you about. Some good news, you know, let's let's get back into the good news spirit of the day and try to make this day the best we possibly can. Uh, I appreciate, I'm sure you guys are commenting really nice things, I appreciate it. You guys always support me and you always make me feel better, even on days that are a little bit difficult. But we did hatch some really cool stuff. Remember the world's first that we ended up? We ended up getting a couple, actually, to be honest with you, more than I thought. So this happens to be just a fire bamboo ball python right here, which is really cool again you know there's been fam fire bamboos before but again we ended up mixing a vanilla that was in with the fire which makes the vanilla cream and of course the first one that we produced which I think is a world's first but I'm not hundred percent sure about this one and this is actually a vanilla cream spider bamboo ball python absolutely wonderful and again I've never seen any of these online so I think this is the first one ever produced but uh, I'm not hundred percent sure and if someone else produced it I'm sorry I'm not trying to steal anyone's thunder it's not like I get an award or anything like that for it the fact is is that I think that that's what it is and then we ended up getting two of these guys when I cut the eggs to be honest with you I thought it was only one but these are actually definitely world's first these are pastel vanilla cream bamboo spiders absolutely ridiculous the way these look the vanilla cream stuff is so cool it's a lilac again between vanilla and fire and then you add in the bamboo and the spider oh my goodness these things are absolutely incredible so again you know, even on a day that there's some tragedy, there's also life that's here. And I'm gonna celebrate this life and be so happy to actually see these guys out of the eight looking healthy and stuff like that. And the fact that we have three probably world's first animals, that's absolutely a blessing for sure. So uh, let's make the rest of the day the best we possibly can. Hi guys, so I'm here. Obviously, if you guys watched the vlog for a while, you know who this is. This is Brian's nephew, Chip. Why do they call you Chip? I eat chips. Me too. It's okay. I don't get called Chip. I got like 18 different nicknames and Chip is not one. Please don't make it one. You guys know how I feel about spiders. I hate them so much. He's also terrified of them. We're going to be doing a little work with our, our lady Black Beauty here. She bites a little bit sometimes. Uh, oh. It's all freaking creepy. So I... Oh. I got her out and I'm shaking just just a little bit, but it's okay. Sweat dripping down my back. This one don't shoot poop. I feel it's like it's going to bite you. No, she's going to bite me. I already done it. So all you got to do is hold out your hands. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. If I'm doing this, you can do it. Trust me. You're good. You're good. Wow, Misty Mike for the win. Come on, Chip. You got this. You're doing great. She's not even moving. Sometimes she'll bolt up your arm or whatever, but you're good. Dude, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. Oh, I am too. I can't believe I just got out of the cage. I'm shaking. I feel like I got. Well, oh. take your back. Not really, but sure. For you, I'll do it. Two months ago, I'd not have done this. I don't care if it's for the vlog, if it's for my own personal reasons. I would not have done this at all. And now I got Chip doing it. Go after your fuse, guys. And by the way, drink water. Water is life. Don't pollute. 
You know, the one thing I've been doing lately, and this even helps with my mental health when it comes to anxiety and stuff like that, is to, to be grateful, right? You know, it's really easy to dwell on negativity stuff, and, and uh, but you can be grateful for things too, like Waffles the Black-Throated Monitor, and all my animals for that matter. I just can go cage by cage and just be so thankful for what we have, right? So I know that it's really easy to get into this negative mode, like, oh, why would that animal have not made it? Why, why, why? All this type of stuff, and you really can obsess about it but the fact is is that if you can actually kind of be grateful for the things that you do have you know all these amazing animals at the Reptarium BHB hatching so many amazing babies every single year I mean you go through this and waffles going back you going back buddy okay we'll see you soon I mean I've always wanted a big black throat monitor that was super tame and waffles hasn't disappointed at all so you know spending time with animals like this or whatever it makes you happy when you have something negative happen really can change the tide right you basically just become grateful you become mindful and then, you know, it doesn't take the, the part of the suckiness away from it. You know, it still sucks really bad that that animal didn't make it. And it's never going to make me feel good. But, but if I can be grateful for all the other things that I'm so blessed to have, even all of you guys that follow me, you know, it, it's... It just takes a different spin on it. And that's what I'm gonna to do today, is I'm gonna just spend as much time with as many animals and doing the things that I love and uh, and grateful for what I do have and not dwell on the things that I've lost. Down here in the Kluber room, just looking at some animals that are gonna be up to size to breed next year for the first time. So this is like the, some of the razor colubrids that are just about ready to breed. This happens to be the black milk snake or what they would call gauge eye. Remember these guys, when they're born, they're just like any other milk snake. They're black, yellow, and red. And then as they get older, they get this jet black and this thing is already jet black. You can barely see a little bit of pattern on it. So it almost looks like a Mexican black king snake, but it's just a milk snake. I can't wait to produce these guys. It's been a dream of mine. I've never produced these in my entire life, and I've worked with so many milk snakes. I can't believe that I've never had this one. So hopefully next year will be the year. Then take a look at this albino scaleless diffuse corn snake. I mean, unbelievable. Just how soft it looks. That diffuse just really changes the kind of palette for sure. And then the albino, oh my goodness gracious. This is a little female. She's definitely going to be up to size to breed this year. So we'll get her in brumation in a month, month and a half. And uh, wow, I can't wait to see what baby she produces next year. I only have one pair of no block eye or what they would call Terra Humera mountain king snakes. So this is another female that's going to come up to size. They only have like maybe five, six eggs top. So I've only been producing a handful of them each year so having another female up to size obviously will hopefully double my production next year and now i'm going to have to hang on to some more for sure because they're just a really cool mountain king snake just absolutely beautiful color and pattern it's one of my favorite things to just kind of open up the drawers down here in the razor rack here or upstairs on the other side where they're getting big too just to see what's coming up for the next time that excitement right this happens to be a pastel pink hog nose snake i used to work so much with hogs and now we don't produce that many anymore so we have some more coming up of course the pastel pinks have always been one of my favorites but there are so many colors of hog nose that we're going to be working with of course we have the tricolor hogs that'll be ready this next year too so next year's breeding season for colubrids definitely looks like it's going to be an absolute Absolute banger and it's just always cool to see how far these guys have come from little tiny babies to now being ready to breed guys I realize this wasn't a feel-good vlog I mean I get it it sucks but you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to look at the good things I'm gonna look at the happiness of all the positives in my life and I really encourage you guys to do the same if you don't mind could you do me a favor hit a couple videos over here it would really mean a lot to me also what would mean a lot to me is you subscribe to my vlog channel right over here have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you in the next one.